Mike, I was just saying to uh, Susan, a uh, bit of a job for you. Uh, unfortunately, some vandals have sworn all over my car again. <laughs> vandals, eh, Mr. Potter, you know? Makes them wonder what it's all about. Yeah. A boot? Hi, you know, vandals, you know. What, what is it all about? Oh, about, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to understand the, uh, the Geordie people. <laughs> you know, what I reckon is that if they had themselves proper jobs, they wouldn't be up to all this, you know, larking every night. What? <laughs> What I'm saying is that, like, if they had to sell proper jobs, you know, for the gantil, then they wouldn't do it. You know, a lot of them's from broken homes. Oh, sorry, Mark, that was just a noise. <laughs> All I got there was uh, broken homes. And a, a broken home is not an excuse for evil. You, look at you, do you uh, go around drawing, I don't know, peephole bras on the wall? I, but it was different for me, like, cos, you know, I, w I was in the army when I was 17. Well, there you go. They taught you a trade. Minor repairs. Aye, that and killing. <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh, I, I've seen some terrible things, mind. What, like, like three men burning in a tank, going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't want to know, Mr Partridge. I'll be honest, I'm pretty curious. <laughs> I, I, but I basically like to understand man's inhumanity to man. Yeah. And, and then make a programme about it. <laughs> anyway, uh, regarding the uh, graffiti, if you could... Uh, kill that... <laughs> then, uh, 